I'm giving a shout out to Waffle Time because he's the one who came up with this method that I'm going to show you about how to kill the destroyer. So it's only fair that I give him a shout out. I don't want to get sued, okay? Simple as that. Anyways, step one is to break all the crimson or demon altars you have in your world. But be careful because harm creatures will be there. And when you break these crimson or demon altars with the pin hammer, which is guaranteed to be dropped by the wall of flesh, if you don't have it, then you're going to need to fight him again. I'm sorry. I actually had to do that before. And when you break them, as you can see, you get blessed with hard more ores. Now, when you break the first one, you'll either get Colat or Paterwim ore. Then when you break the second one, you'll get Mithril or Orcrelum. In the third one, you'll get either Adamantite or Titanium. Step two is to get full adamantite or titanium gear. Now here's a tip, don't even bother with getting the first few tiers of weapons and armor. First, get your molten pickaxe or reaver shard, and mine coolback or pedalum ore, and make a driller pickaxe. Then make a mithril or krillum anvil and drill or pickaxe. Then when you finally get to adamantite or titanium, you're gonna make a a forge. Then you're gonna get full armor, a sword, a repeater or ice bow. Step three is to get a Daedalus Stormbow, which has a 25% chance of dropping from the Hollowed Mimic, which is a rare mob from the underground Hollowed, or can be summoned by a Key of Light, which is crafted by 15 Souls of Light. Then put the key in a chest, any chest would do. I'd recommend getting the Spider Staff with the Bewitched Effect, and I would recommend making an arena or getting a pair of wings, or both. Step 4 is to get Holy Arrows, which can be crafted by 1 Unicorn Horn, 200 Arrows, and 3 Pixie Dust. If you run out of arrows, you can get more from the Merchant. Pixie Dust can be dropped by Pixies, and Unicorn Horns can be dropped by Unicorns. Good luck. Step 5 is to make an arena, which can be made by placing blocks in the sky and putting a ton of platforms in the middle, and place torches, fireplaces, and heart lanterns as you please. Step 6 is my favorite step, and you guessed it, it's to summon and kill the destroyer. Now, most of the mobs that spawn will die of the attack of the falling arrows and shooting stars, but if they don't, you're just going to grab your sword and start slicing those guys up. After a hell load of holy arrows are used, congratulations, you have single-handedly defeated the destroyer.